I'm Melissa Nakavali at the Toronto Zoo, where if you were hoping to come down and check out some of their bird enclosures, you would be out of luck. Officials with the zoo say that they're taking precautions and closing down all bird walkthrough areas after a confirmed case of the avian flu was detected at a nearby farm. Avian influenza is something that is highly transmissible. It moves uh, primarily through waterfowl, and we've all seen more geese around. And the simple act of you uh, walking along, maybe you step in some goose feces, you track that into the aviary where you're sharing space with a bird at your zoo, and suddenly that can be uh, the transmission point where they can actually contract avian influenza. So we're making sure that that's not an option and we can keep our birds out of harm's way. According to the Toronto Zoo, the case of avian flu was confirmed at a chicken farm within 200 kilometres away. It comes as the Canadian Food Inspection Agency announced they recently found avian flu cases at two locations in Ontario. One case was found in Chatham-Kent on March 10th. The second was found on March 14th in the township of West Lincoln, southeast of Hamilton. Now, experts say there has been a rise in the number of farms being closed due to cases of avian flu, with those figures moving from one to two farms per year over the past decade to more than 200 being closed just last year alone. What this is sort of indicating is that, you know, there, there is a uh, an ongoing issue, particularly in you know, wild bird flocks and then into poultry farms you know, at the moment. And so we we have to maintain surveillance uh, of those uh, and then surveillance around the farms to ensure that there isn't that sort of potential spread into the community. But it also means that we have to be very cautious and protective of workers who are working in those farms, given that high rate of uh, infection that we're seeing at the moment. The city of Vaughan is also reporting an increase in the number of dead birds likely infected with the H5N1 flu. York Region Public Health is recommending that residents keep a distance from wild birds and other animals, especially if they look sick or are dead. Now, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency says that there's no evidence to suggest that eating cooked poultry or eggs could transmit this flu to humans. And there's also uh, no confirmed cases of this type of flu in humans in Canada right now.